Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Pod, a new round of cigar talk. And today we want to talk about triboxing. <clears throat> I think that's a more or less kind of popular topic, especially in the last couple of years. I can't remember that I heard it like, well, when I started back in 95 smoking, nobody was talking about tri boxing, and even like 10 years ago, um, nobody was talking about that. But with the uh, people are getting more sophisticated about cigars, we have more cigar smokers, we have more cigars, and so different topics are, are coming up um, that might be interesting or not. <clears throat> Why I thought tri boxing would be a, a good thing to talk about is uh, if you remember a while ago uh, I was unboxing and reviewing the Hoyo de Monterey Year of the Ox. Oh, by the way, today I'm smoking a Hoyo de Monterey, but it's not the Year of the Ox, it is the uh, Sirius Le Hoyo Rio Seco. So guys, try boxing. <clears throat> In general, what it is when uh, when you want to get a little bit of moisture out of your cigar, you try boxing it. And try boxing is exactly what the name says. It's uh, you put a cigar in a box and you let it try. So there's no really big magic or something about that. It's as simple as that. Before we're talking a little bit more about that, um, let me just show you how you do it. Uh, and it's quite straightforward. Let's say you have a cigar and you want to try box it. For whatever reason, we're coming later to that. The only thing you need to do is you take an empty box. And it has to be a wooden box, of course. And it should not be, uh, it must not be treated with uh, varnish or some kind of paint, so just straight wood. You could take any kind of box, uh, it's just, you know, we cigar smokers, we usually have a lot of cigar boxes, so it makes sense uh, that you're using a cigar box, right? So, in this case, it's also an H Upman Magnum 50. Uh, The box. If the cigar is in cellophane, you have to remove it, otherwise it makes absolutely no sense. So we still assume that we think uh, we want to get rid of some moisture in the cigar. You're taking it out of the cellophane if it has something. You put it in your box. If you want to, some people prefer to cover it with something, then you can take a cedar sheet that is in most of the, in all of the Cuban boxes. You put it on top of it, you close the box. That's all. And then you leave it in there. Finished. Some people just put it in a box, some people putting a cedar sheet on top of it. <clears throat> so what is the idea behind that? The wood uh, is absorbing the moist. Uh, and as long as you leave it in the uh, in the cigar box, the more of the moist is gone. That's it. You know, there is uh, nothing really, no special thing about that. So why doing that, or when when doing it? Um, some people have using a device for checking the moisture on the uh, on both ends of the cigar. And uh, if it's too high, let's say 70 or over 70, uh, they want to reduce it in order to improve uh, the, the quality of the cigar while smoking it. Um, and again, here, there is no like ideal value, you know. A lot of people I know, they like to smoke it when it's like 65, 66, 67. And I also know people that don't care about tri boxing at all. Uh, so for your personal preference you really have to check it out yourself you know i was talking about the lejoyo 
not a little Hoyo Monterey of the Ox. Um, it wasn't a very good cigar for a couple of reasons. And in the comments, um, a lot of people or a few people were saying, go try box a cigar, you know. And in the night owl that was coming after the, um, the Hoyo de Monterey of the Ox, um, I explained why I don't do that. And it has nothing to do with the with the procedure of tri boxing. It's just not the way I'm smoking cigars, you know. When I wake up in the morning, I don't know what I'm going to smoke. I'm open my Jumi door, I'm looking what what I'm up to, and then I'm taking out that cigar and I'm smoking it. Um, so I'm not preparing anything, and that's in this way I cannot uh, tri box any cigars because I'm picking out a cigar and I want to smoke it damn right now, and I don't want to wait like a couple of hours. Some people leave cigars a couple of hours in there, some people for a day, you know. Like I said, it's up to you. You have to figure out yourself. As I said, for me personally, man, try boxing. It's not fitting in the way I'm smoking cigars. And I personally think a cigar should work without try boxing. Uh, especially when you have like premium cigars. So um, for me it makes no sense that I'm buying a cigar uh, and then um, giving it some special treatment, you know. And it also includes like uh, using uh, like uh, a draw tool, you know, when the cigar is not, uh, when you have a bad draw. Uh, there are all kind of tools in order to fix that. I don't, I don't do that, you know. Sometimes uh, I have a little knife and I put it in there. Uh, but that, really that's the maximum I'm doing um, and not even that just very like let's say when I have a cigar that I was really excited to smoke and it's not working I'm trying something you know just maybe one time and then if it's not working I will just let it die in the ashtray but other people uh, different folks different uh, opinions uh, and everybody's different, so there's no bad thing about try boxing. You know, if that's the way you smoking, that's perfectly fine. Um, and there are a lot of indications that a cigar is still too, uh, still too much moisture in, uh, in the leaves. You know, um, it can be the case when, like, uh, when the wrapper uh, is splitting or cracking, for example, uh, when the draw is not good. Uh, when it's, uh, it's going out on you constantly, that all indications that it might be too moist. But for that, go play around with your humidor, you know. Uh, I mean, not everybody has a large humidor that I was showing in my humidor tour, but even with a small one, you know. You always, you can do different things in order to uh, getting your cigars ready to be smoked anytime when you're picking, when you're picking it. And you know, when you're taking it out of your humidor. And some people I know, they like their humidor on 70%, you know, and others like they prefer like 68, and I know others they have like on 72, you know, all different. It's a lot, it has a lot to do with like trial and error, you know. Try a cigar, if it's not working for you, I mean if it's working taste-wise, but it has some issues, flaws or whatever, you know, try different things and sooner or later you will figure out how is your perfect way uh, how to smoke a cigar. And I'm not using even a few people I know. Like I said, they have these devices, you know. So I'm not doing that. Um, I don't want to be too overconfident, but when I'm taking a cigar and I have it in my hands, you know, looking at it, smelling at it, I have a pretty good feeling if that cigar is ready to be smoked or not. Not all the time, obviously, because even if you can see here in my reviews and cigar talks or whatever, uh, a few cigars uh, failed. Uh, they were not good. But uh, most of the time it seems to be uh, pretty much okay. <laughs> Try boxing, huh? All right, guys. I hope you can enjoy a good cigar, enjoy life. Most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you around at Smoker Spot.
Cheers.